Hello and welcome to the Red Room. Today we start a new segment which will be called Phantoms of Celluloid. Uh, this is uh, a, new, uh, a new segment about movies, uh, strange movies, bizarre movies, uh, horror movies. That's why it's called Phantoms of Celluloid. We'll start by discussing the work of José Morrica Marins, a Brazilian director uh, known mostly for his Coffin Joe, Zé do Caixão. Okay, Zé do Caixão is a, a character whose uh, name was translated as Coffin Joe, which makes sense. Zé it's a literal tra translation. Yeah. yeah, it was a good translation for this one. Um, and who is Coffin Joe? Coffin Joe is a very strange character. He should be a villain, and he was, I think, he was supposed to be kind of a villain in the first movie. But, um, well, it probably was a success, and, well, given the, the time and the, the, the possibilities of a, a small budget film to become a success, it is considered as the first Brazilian horror movie, so probably it was, uh, it does, it had some, some success. It was done in the 60s. Yes. And, uh, well, after that, he, 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 was, he became a anti-hero, I, I would say, because he, he's always the protagonist. But he is a disagreeable character, he isn't, uh, isn't nice at all. He's, he's, uh, he acts more like a villain than... Uh, he is a villain, for sure. And it's just to tell people, and we're going to show a little bit of the, uh, of the film, but just to tell the, the story. So Coffin Joe is an undertaker in a small town in Brazil, in the interior. And oh, he's... in several small towns, because yes, he, exactly. he keeps moving. <laughs> Uh, but uh, he is a strange man. He has a unusual aspect. He has these long, disgusting nails. Uh, he always dresses with a top hat, like an undertaker will, will dress. And oh, he doesn't believe in God. Kind of. Yes, kind of. kind of. He doesn't believe in God, so he's an atheist, uh, which shocks with the people in the in the village. But he has a dream. He wants to have a son. But apparently he can't, uh, and he thinks that he thinks he will be immortal if he has a son, uh, and he thinks that the problem, of course, as a product of, of of his time, is with the women. He can't have a son because he can't find the proper woman that is good enough to carry. Oh my God, that's misogyny here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's a very interesting character, uh, although disagreeable. Uh, I think he has a little bit of nihilism, wouldn't you say? Yeah, well, yes, uh, Aldo is a Nietzschean, and uh, Nietzsche didn't really care about Nihilists. But that, well, anyway, that, let's go <laughs> Let's go back to the, the subject yes. at hand. Okay, so uh, he's an undertaker, and he, he usually lives in rural, rural Brazil, uh, where people are superstitious and religious at the same time. Well, everywhere in Brazil, I think. Uh, mysticism mixed with religion. And but he's the opposite of that. He's a an atheist and uh, as I said, a Nietzschean. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually quotes Nietzsche in the movies because I've never read uh, Nietzsche translated to Brazilian Portuguese. But if he doesn't quote, he misquotes. It's uh, uh, well the will of power and all the, the all that those those. Um, I'm not sure if I should call them monologues or speeches because it's somewhere in between. Usually. Is speaking to other people, but he basically ignores them because he finds them inferiors, and he himself above all the um, the poor uh, peasants. Uh, so he, he does more of a monologue. He, he does a lot of monologues. He likes to talk and hear his his own voice. So well, okay. So while he's a villain, at the same time, if you uh, agree with him in some of these beliefs. For example, atheism and uh, well, uh, uh, materialism. You'll probably find that is uh, sometimes is right. Although he is a little over the top, but something that I think happens in most of the films, at least the the long ones. Uh, I don't know about the shorts. Is that he kills people, mm -hmm. and then they come back from the dead. Mm, in to... rapes and the rapes yes. women also. Yeah. Yes. Some of them uh, uh, fall in love with him. It's probably yes. because of the nails and not yes. mind being raped. Yes. So very problematic contact. But uh, most of what happens, at least in the most two of the most famous uh, movies, is that the dead come back to yeah. avenge him. Yes, and um, all, uh, let's uh, talk a bit, a bit about uh, his uh, non-superstitious ways. 
even though he denies all that, he eventually has to face the supernatural. And that's when there's a strange, uh, the strangest monologues from uh, Coffin Joe, as that okay show, because he's being attacked by supernatural, but he's still denying it and showing his power. He's a very strong guy and very strong willed. He beats up everyone when, when he's uh, angry. Uh, so it, it, he himself is a bit strange because uh, he's a small guy and thin guy, but he has a very strong personality and charisma and people bend to his will. And at the same time, he has physical strength that seems supernatural. It's the Superman, if you're going to look yes, at Yes, he's probably, yeah. Yes. He's probably is the humor man from Nietzsche. So, okay, let's talk a little bit uh, about this collection here. I'm going to show it. This is the Coffin Joe collection. This box set contains everything, every movie and the short movie where Coffin Joe uh, features. Um, there's a, there are smaller collections, uh, which include just a trilogy, which are at midnight, I will take your soul. This night, I will possess your corpse. And I think Strange World of Coffin Joe, or perhaps it depends probably on the on the collections, um, Embodiment of Evil, which is the last film. These, the, the first ones are from the 60s, and there are some from the 70s. And the last one was uh, actually in the 2000s, because he had a long career after he, he well, he didn't, I'm not sure if he didn't leave movies, he, he, he kept on directing movies he probably did TV shows yeah he became yeah. a tv star in brazil he mm -hmm. had a huge success in brazil so coffee uh he started using the educação as his alter ego and he mm -hmm. started he presented tv shows uh talk shows and also did some tv series but he appeared as educação with a finger not that exactly. with the long fingernails and the top hat he was always that. on uh, he was on character mo most of the time so it's he's usually uh, popular and he's known as the brazilian freddy krueger <laughs> or the boogeyman well that's what is written in the wikipedia but i'm not sure if, <laughs> if uh, yeah. freddy krueger just because he had long fingernails I don't probably it was because of that yeah probably that okay. i think the boogeyman probably was the well, was the best one so here's the collection inside the box so i was as i was saying so there's at midnight i will take your soul which is from 64 1964 this night i will possess your corpse 1967 awakening of the beast 1970 awakening of the beast i, I think he isn't the main character here so the end of man from 71 these are less known movies and the uh, Strange Hostel in Naked Pleasures, of Naked Pleasures, Hellish Flesh, 76 and 77, um, Strange Worlds of Coffin Joe, 68, Hallucinations of a Deranged Mind, 78, and then there's a um, documentary, Coffin Joe, The Strange World of José Mojica Marins, which is from 2001, and finally, Embodiment of Evil, his last movie from 2008. Uh, this collection is Italian, so the booklet inside is in Italian. You probably, unless you, you know Italian, you can't read it. So, well, I don't think there's a, uh, this one, I don't think there's an English version. I'm going to show you. Let's look at the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the Wikipedia, we don't need this now. Okay, this is the, the collection box, nine DVDs is the price here uh so okay so you can see there's more options yes. cheaper options the, the coffin joe trilogy i think this one is in english yes it is this one is in english well this this one is probably not available with a little coffin if you are interested uh, for sure the at midnight i will take your soul and this night i'll possess your corpse are the two most famous ones so yeah. it will be the ones that we would recommend they are individually here, so in DVD, all those, all those other movies, probably some of these aren't uh, available. They, they are here, but some are, aren't probably available. Now, that this one it was in English, but it's a bit expensive. Okay, so Agar, let's go to, to YouTube to show, because there's, a, well, a couple of movies are on YouTube, uh, complete. But, um, there, well, there are different versions. I think you should, uh, if you want to, to 
watch something this unless you you already know coffin joe you're probably not interested in buying a dvd so so to to try it so you just you can just go to youtube and um, search for for some of these movies there's this one it has uh, english subtitles so it's probably the best option at midnight i will take your soul from 1964 i will show a little bit of this because it's interesting you can you can uh, see this is one of his monologues It's not all movie like that, but uh, there's a, a big part. There's a lot of overacting, and it, it's yeah. fun. <laughs> it's fun. Well, the overacting I... is very entertaining. At least we think so. Yes, for as it is. And if you <laughs> like weird films, I'm sure you will. Yeah, that's why we, we chose this one, because it's at the same time, it's an horror film. It's a bizarre film, and it's a, a weird film at the same time. And it's a cult. Well, all of them, all of those uh, Coffin Joe, this is probably the most emblematic because it's the first, but there, there are others. the others are similar in the, in the approach. Perhaps not the last one, and I'm not sure if it's uh, the last one and the previous, they are colored, these ones are, are all black and white, and they feel right in black and white. Uh, colored, uh, when, the, when the Coffin Joe movie is colored, it sounds a little bit off. Yes, it's I strange. Think. Well, okay. I think this is enough to, about uh, Coffin Joe. If you want yes. to, well, if you want, to, if you have any doubt about it, you can uh, ask a few questions on the on the comments, and I I'll try to answer any any question about it. Okay. Thank you and for we'll, watching. We'll meet again soon to discuss and to dig out some other Phantom of Celluloid. Yes, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.